Hi, in this video I'm going to share our top van life tech gadgets. For some of these there will be more detailed videos coming in the future, but here's a quick rundown of the top 10 tech we just couldn't do without. Keep up to date by hitting the subscribe button and you can visit us at explorevan.uk where you can read more about us, our vans and our trips. First on the list is our Wi-Fi booster. It's an Alpha UBDO external directional antenna and Wi-Fi receiver and an Alpha R36 router. This lets us pick up Wi-Fi hotspots from a lot further away and rebroadcast them in our own van so that we can keep connected to the network most of the time. Second on the list is also internet related. It's our Huawei E5573CS MiFi. As you can see, it's a really small compact unit, battery, plenty of battery power. You can even put it outside and still get the signal inside if we need it. Um, and we use it with two different SIM cards. Uh, we use it with a three network, 12 gigabyte card, which lasts for 12 months. So we can dip in and out and use data as we want to. Um, but if we know we're gonna be using it intensively for a month, we, get, we have a gift gap unlimited card, which for £25 uh, gives us in unlimited access for a month. Number three is our permanent Android tablet. As you can see, it's here on the wall. Um, and on there we have Spotify Premium. All our music is on there. We have a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, which we connect it to. It also lets us connect to BBC iPlayer and we can download from it. And it also links to our CCTV system. So we just couldn't really do without it. Fourth on our list is for our satellite TV. Uh, we've got a MaxView crank up um, dish with a dual LMB and that links to a Humax HDR 1100S satellite tuner. It's got two tuners, it's got one terabyte of recording capacity, it lets us connect to Netflix, iPlayer, ITV Hub and all of the other uh, catch up programs. Um, it's been great for us, we have it linked to both the screen in the back and also a screen in the front um, and both of those let us enjoy the telly wherever we want. <laughs> list is our security alarm and tracker system. For obvious reasons I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about this uh, but our alarm system um, covers internal movement, it covers all the doors, it covers tilting, uh, it's got an internal and an external sounder, uh, it triggers the awning light to flash when it goes off but it also triggers it as a courtesy light to help you get in and out when you switch the alarm on and off. The alarm links to our tracker system uh, which means that if the alarm goes off and we're not around it sends a text or calls our phone um, and the tracker system also lets us send geofence, geofences um, and do live tracking and historic tracking of the van. So we actually use this a lot in some of our videos to show the routes that we've taken. It's also really nice on trips to be able to see where we went and when. Okay, number six on our list uh, isn't really modern tech, but it's tech nonetheless. Um, it's some PMR radios. Um, so we use Beofeng BF 888 S's in the van. Um, we use them with the kids. We use them when we're out on activities. Uh, it just means if you can't get a mobile signal or you're just looking for a quick message either way, you don't have to mess around with a mobile phone. Um, these are really cheap and pretty much disposable. In the UK, you can get them for less than 10 pounds each. Uh, they've got great battery life. They're really easy to use. You do need a license to program them for license frequencies and you do need to be able to program them. Um, we have a simple UK light license, uh, which is £85 for five years, um, but I'm also a licensed amateur radio user, um, so I can program them for some wider frequencies. Um, but we do find these really, really useful. So our number seven is a bit of a catch-all and it's cameras. 
Um, we've got a lot of cameras on the van uh, for CCTV purposes, for helping when manoeuvring. Um, obviously, because it's security related, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail again with this one, um, but it does mean we have recordings. We can access them remotely using the MiFi or the Wi-Fi unit, depending on how we're connected. So if we're away from the van and we get a notification that the alarm's going off, we can remotely have a look at the van and have a look all the way around it. Um, some of those cameras are overt and you can see them. Um, some of them are hidden um, and you can't. Um, so it's really beneficial. Uh, the reversing camera for me is an absolute requirement. Um, I, I've got a dual one that looks straight back and can look straight down. Um, and for maneuvering into tight spaces, really couldn't do without that. Number eight on our list is an addition. It's a DAB radio. Um, it's, it's a tiny unit that links to the existing stereo in the van. Uh, it's made by First E, and they could market it as a five-in-one unit. So it's a DAB receiver, which lets us get all our digital radio channels. Uh, it's also an FM transmitter. Um, now we've got a uh, auxiliary in on our radio, so we don't need to use that. But if you haven't got one, um, it's very good at transmitting. I have tried it um, onto the frequency of the radio, so you can connect, listen to it that way. It's also a Bluetooth receiver, um, so if you want to play music from your phone, you can do it through that. Uh, you can use it as a hands-free kit for your phone, um, and you can also put a micro SD with music on it into the unit and play from there. Um, it's non expensive, it's really easy to use. Um, the internal antenna I found a little bit fiddly, so we put an external antenna on it, and the signal has been absolutely superb. Um, so, if you listen to a lot of music, if you want to listen to wider radio stations than a normal analog radio you've got in the van, absolute great addition. <laughs> So number nine um, is our solar system. Really all our other gadgets rely on our solar system. We could not manage without it. Uh, we've got a 280 watt monocrystalline panel that feeds into our 30 amp PWM controller. It's linked to a remote monitor so we can see exactly what's happening. Um, and we've got a, 200, a 2000 watt inverter. Um, it keeps everything running really well, even with the lack of sunshine we have sometimes in the UK. We're always well up on power on our batteries, even though we've got loads of gadgets running. And finally, number 10 is a bit of fun. Um, so we fitted color changing LED lights um, into our roof light. Um, so it means we can have uh, different mood lighting, we can have a, uh, a fun mood lighting where it fades from one colour to the other. Um, it's actually, um, we've used it when we need to have the doors open and we don't want to put the fly screen on. If you put a red light on, it's supposed to be less attractive to bugs. Um, don't know for sure that that works, but it does seem to. Um, and, and it's just really nice to have the option to change the lighting in the van. Most of the other lighting is is white, um, so it's just a bit of a bit of fun and a bit of special. But uh, the kids like it, and it's quite nice to be able to change things up every now and again. So that's our top ten tech gadgets. Hope you found it useful, and uh, we hope you see you on another video soon. Keep up to date by hitting the subscribe button. And you can visit us at explorevan.uk where you can read more about us, our vans and our trips.